Welcome back. We're here in studio today with Mr. Soup Dollywall, who is the Liberal candidate for the Surrey Newton riding. Let's talk to him a little bit more about the pending elections and what his platform is all about. Mr. Dollywall, welcome to the show. Thank you, Janita. Give me an opportunity to be uh, with your viewers. Absolutely. Well, I mean, most people already know what the uh, what the platform is all about. So let's just get right into what the what the questions are that the viewers really want to know. So, I mean, you've you've been in politics for a while. How confident are you that you will actually win in your riding? Uh, the way I see it is, uh, I have represented this part of this riding twice. Mm -hmm. um, people had put confidence in me in those two terms, and I have always been the voice of the community in mm -hmm. Ottawa. But, but I don't take it, it for granted. But again, of course, you know, every of vote course. counts, and I'm working hard to, to make sure on October 19th I'm able to secure every vote that I, I could. So you ran for the, uh, well, you were a federal MP, but you um, also ran for the, you contested the BC provincial elections, where you ran for the BC Liberal Party. But they have two completely different platforms. So can you explain why that was? Uh, the way I see it is, uh, I came to this country in 1984 uh, as an immigrant uh, with an engineering degree in civil mm -hmm. engineering, went to University of Calgary, uh, got my uh, geomatics engineering degree and postgrad diploma in energy management and utilization. Mm -hmm. Then I had the opportunity to work in private public sector in, uh, in Alberta before moving to BC in 1993 uh, where I got my professional engineer status uh, and also a BC land survey status in the membership in two organizations then I established my business. When you see my family grow, I have uh, been living in this uh, area for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. I raised my family and I built my business here. Mm -hmm. So I had to see, you know, where we have to head. We have to be free entrepreneur, or we have to have a, a gender social vision uh, on the other side. One but, side they, but they both have completely different uh, you know, party platforms. Uh, one is federal liberals um, and one is the provincial liberals. Just because they have the same no. party name doesn't But that doesn't mean it is. But thing is, but one thing it is is that they are not NDP, right? Mm -hmm. But my focus right now is, is the federal. Mm -hmm. You know, I have always been passionate about uh, federal politics. Uh, I joined the Liberal Party in 1986. First, I chose this country uh, because of P.R. Elliot Trudeau. Okay, so, I mean, that doesn't quite answer that question. So, I'll, I'm just going to move on because in the essence of time, okay? Right. Um, you, that one you, question that you're asking me uh -huh. is it's all about free enterprise, okay? Okay. We, so, speaking right, of free enterprise, right, right. I mean, you ran a business right. and um, you, you know, you didn't pay taxes on your, it's, on your it's business. It's not that. I think you're, I have to correct you here. Okay, please I do. think you're already going negative because it's not. No, 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 no please no, correct it's me. Not, I, I have to correct you. This is why I think I, you should have done your homework okay. before you even should have asked me this question. It was not, it was nothing to do with paying taxes. Okay. Okay? So please it, clarify. It, it was only to, it was only the late filing because I was given mm. 90 days to file for one of the companies that I was the director. It was nothing to do with my personal mm -hmm. taxes. It was only the filing. So out in the public, the perception is, is that perception, you... This is what you know, I say, is but people like, even people, learned people like you, you, who are asking me the question in a, in a negative way, this is what is causing the, the wrong perception. When I see the political people like Ginny Sims, mm -hmm. you know, who have nothing positive to offer, she is the one who's trying to go negative, you know, by doing negative Instead ads. Of on and the when positive. I see people like you who are very learned, very intelligent, but if without doing the homework, you know, they are saying that I didn't pay. It was nothing to do but with paying taxes. But if this is the public perception, do you think that people in your riding will trust you? If yes, this in is fact, perception? this is what it is. If you look at this, because this is the community I lived for the last 20 years. Mm. This is the community where I did business. In fact, what it is, mm -hmm. I went through an extensive green light process. Okay. Okay? And, and, okay. You understand what that is? No, please tell because us. Because that green light process is that party goes through every single issue that some candidate had. Mm -hmm. Very extensive. 
and I went through that, I passed that. Not only that's that. That's why you're able to then, run again. Uh, run again. Mm -hmm. And then I went for the open nomination. I did not want to get appointed, even though I was a, a member of parliament mm -hmm. twice. So your constituents, um, you know, part of your, your party's platform is to legalize marijuana. Right. Um, so do you support this? Uh, legalizing marijuana, if we look at one side is, I went to the different schools. I had the opportunity to go to many schools. Mm -hmm. And the first question I asked them was, I asked students, on one day there were almost 1,100 students. Mm -hmm. The question I asked was, how easily do you have an access to marijuana then you have to alcohol and tobacco. You know what the answer was? Mm -hmm. Almost every hand was up. Yeah. And then the second question I asked was, how many of them believe that the criminal activity that is, or all this crime that's happening in Surrey, 80% of that is part of that marijuana war, the control war, and almost every hand was up. So but to take that criminal factor out mm -hmm. of that, you know, there are three different, on one side you have a status quo, mm -hmm. like Mr. Harper, that mm -hmm. policy has failed. On the other hand, uh, until yesterday, Mr. Mulcair had, we will decriminalize marijuana. Decriminalize means anyone can, can, can carry marijuana, you know, you will not be charged, but <coughs> the control will be still with the criminals, hardcore criminals, but by, by legalizing marijuana, which is Justin Trudeau's way, mm -hmm. and the liberal way was, mm -hmm to take that out of their hands and put it into the regulated industry. Okay. So when it's in the regulated industry, okay. then all that revenue that comes Got forward, it. you can invest that on, on educating children that into, the into the children programs. and also you can control that but people would not have an the, access. You are a Sikh and you're part of the Sikh community and they support you. However, do you think that they will support legalization of marijuana? In fact, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to go to many doorsteps to see can you be Sikh community mm -hmm. the Sikh community be jadi hai gya, wo Canada da part ne. Jado jaake unhon dekh rehi hai ki aaj unhon de bachche da future hai. Jado unhon de bachche as vele marijuana nu sokhe tarike de naal access kar de, then jadi shraab jaan tabaku hai ga. The je asi us nu unhon de hatha do taak saare bachche nu jina nu aaj gang jade ne. Oh, hire Cardene on Bichan Vaste, Jesse, one of the Hatajo Lake, a regulator industry, the which Padange. Right. Jedo Sari research, Sari studies a show cardia, he a crime look at on the Ekbadiatrika, the Harik Mapajeda, who is Kalna Mirena Sam Thoria, or other Nalji de Kajabe, Dujapa Sandi, Vidigal Carlo, Ekden Jede civil care, Pella can the civil may decriminalize Kardu. You know what they have your policy, Tigni, or can this was first step towards legalizing marijuana? Right. You know what it is, is because it's a flip flop. But on the other hand, if you see Justin, whether it is the policy on solving the crime, whether so it's marijuana, of crime, let's talk right, about that marijuana, or, or 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 talking about uh, immigration, he has been very consistent from day one. He's bringing in the policies that are helping the middle class. So, what is Trudeau's policy on uh, on crime? On, on crime, on on one side, if we look at uh, there are two different, uh, three different visions. Mm -hmm. On one side, you have uh, the Conservative Party or Reform Party. They say we will build jails worth billions and billions of dollars, mm -hmm. right? And put everyone, even the first time minor offenders, the young people, into the jails and spend $130,000 uh, on okay, them. But the on the other hand, you have an NDP mm -hmm. who will never support any legislation to toughen the laws. But on the other hand, when I was the member of parliament, irrespective of which party brought the legislation, I stood in the House of Commons and I said, I will strengthen the legislation. To oh, me, what about I support Trudeau's all those. stance on crime? Trudeau, Trudeau well, going the, forward now. Moving forward is, is be, we are going to make sure that we put the resources in. We bring in the police officers that are necessary into mm -hmm. Surrey right way. We mm -hmm. cannot wait for years to, for them to come. So we have the police presence. We have to stop the illegal guns moving from states. We have to provide mm -hmm. resources to CBSA. And also, we have to invest money into the organizations that are playing a positive role mm -hmm. in our young people's lives. So the young people, before even they get into the criminal activity, they are able to be educated. So prevent measures and also the resources that on one side with Harper is putting that 
billions of dollars building mm -hmm. new jails, we can use that money to deal with hardcore criminals. Uh, so, to so you're them. saying that the, yeah, the Trudeau's Liberal Party, the policy is to be tough on crime? We, ha we have to be smart on crime, mm -hmm. but on, at the same time, we have to invest in preventive measures so that our young people to before prevent. even go into that. And mm -hmm. prevention and rehabilitation are very important part and parcel uh, of, the, uh, of the platform. Well, thank you once again for coming, uh, for coming out and for enlightening our viewers about what your platform is all about. Best of luck to you with the upcoming election. Thank you very much.